Hi, welcome to Design Spark. I'm talking to Daniela Massé from Zerenf. Hi, Daniela. Would you like to say hello to our viewers? Hi, hi, Greg. Yes, I am Daniela Massé from Zerenf. Zerenf. I am a co-founder of the company and also a chief innovation officer and head of product. Great. So there's some exciting news um, around uh, Zerenf and RS. It's around the Edge Compute IoT workshop and kit package that you guys have been working on. So you've been working with RS to bring this exclusive offer to uh, RS customers. Could you just tell me a little bit more about the actual product itself? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we decided to design to, to create this workshop that include a kit, an hardware kit, uh, where we have our main data acquisition unit for industrial application and also a set of sensors. Because we think it is very important to support RS customer and let's say engineer in general that are involved in industrial industry 4.0 application to support them in uh, testing, in doing, in having a practical way for learning how to approach to this industry 4.0 revolution and how to acquire data from industrial machine in order to make this machine, let me say, smart. Okay, so a lot of the kind of conversations around the industrial internet of things, industry 4.0, people will be familiar with cloud systems and, and centralizing uh, data through IT infrastructure. What is it about this kit, which is, um, this is a, an edge kit. Could you just tell me a little bit more about edge and what that actually means? Yeah, edge means in the context of industry for the zero and in cloud technology that you can do some kind of computation close to the field, in the field. That is not necessary to stream all your data directly into the cloud. And that the cloud is not the only place where you can run computation, where you can have your algorithms for analyzing the data. So in practice, it means, let me give you an example. If you are acquiring data from an industrial machine, you don't need to stream all this data directly to the cloud at high speed, thus requiring a high bandwidth, so a very high quality connection. And if you are on a cellular connection, also spending a lot of money. But you can filter, analyze this data locally on the data acquisition device. And for example, stream only some events, like when some data pass a threshold or or stream only the results of this filtering, like the average and the minimum and maximum value in a certain range and let's say time window. This is edge computing. And you can push the edge computing also until having machine learning algorithms running directly on the physical device connected to, to the machine, so running on the edge. So this is a kind of new framework for organizing the cloud industry for the zero and machine connection. It's a mindset, it's an architecture design, but you need to start with the proper technology in order to, to be able to, let's say, build this kind of evolved, mixed cloud edge architecture. Okay, so you you talked about the, um, the kit as well, has a number of sensors. Could you just give us a little bit more detail about what our users can expect to find in the kit? Yeah, we have a long experience in there in, in uh, acquiring data from industrial machines. So what we uh, did for the design of this kit is that we analyzed all the use cases where we used our technology for acquiring the data and we selected the sensor for the kit that are typically most used in our applications. Yeah. Uh, in, or this, in order to give our customer the possibility to start with the learning process that also is very close to the real application they will find on the field. And in particular, we included in the kit one um, current sensor that allow to measure, for example, the power consumption of an industrial machine. A temperature sensor, very important, for example, for monitoring uh, the process temperature or for predicting maintenance application. I don't know, do you want to monitor the oil temperature in order to understand if the machine is working correctly? Then we inserted a read switch, magnetic read switch, that is typically used for understanding, for example, if the 
window and enclosure of the machine, let's say the box of the machine is open or not. This yeah. is very important for safety reason. Like for example, if you want to use this edge technology for adding an extra layer of safety to your machine by adding other uh, interlocks and control. You can use this, this sensor. Finally, we inserted a USB to RS-485 converter in order to allow our customer to simulate with a computer a PLC connection. So in this way, they will have with the, with the kit and their own computer, the possibility to simulate a setup on which you have an industrial machine and do, it, and do it with a PLC that is able to, con to communicate over RS-485. And then they can, in this setup, create um, a scenario where they acquire the data from the PLC. They process locally on the edge on, on, on our system that is called 4.0 box, and then they stream the data to the cloud for further processing. Okay, that, that sounds really, really good. So you base the kit on the 4.0 box, but then also there is the additional sensors, which you were talking about current and temperature, which is, as you mentioned, is really great for process monitoring, but also for maintenance monitoring as well. So the data that you get from those two sensors alone will give you a lot of um, information back on how the process is running, how the, the process is performing, et cetera. So in terms of the, the kit, the other part of the package is the workshop. So you have the kit and then you can attend the workshops because I think one of the things which has been missing from a lot of the kind of commentary I'm having around industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things, uh, the industrial Internet of Things is around how to actually get started. and Where do you start? So what is it that users can take out of the workshop? And could you just give us a little bit more information about the workshop material? Yeah, exactly, Greg. And thanks for thanks for asking. Um, we are, let's say, it 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 is becoming easy to find. I mean, for 4.0 technology out of there, you can just Google it, and you will find thousands of possible solution. But at the end of the day, you receive this piece of iron, and you don't know how to plug to your machine. This is why we decided to record more than sixteen lectures, where we drive the user, the customer, in a stepwise uh, journey from the unboxing, the configuration of the 4.0 box that is our hardware, the connection of the sensor included in the kit, the writing of the first simple firmware, the writing of uh, an evolved firmware where you have the first example of filtering on the edge of data acquired by the sensors, and then the streaming of the data to the cloud and the enabling on the cloud of uh, uh, data visualization in order to, let's say, create value from the data you are acquiring from the system and also the firmware over the air update where you update the firmware of the 4.0 box via cloud so it means without going back into the factory so you in in, in the final scenario you installed the 4.0 box on the machine and you do yeah. not need to go there anymore for updating i don't know the variables or the threshold you decided in the first version yeah. of the of the firmware yeah that's the kind of journey that the customer will have in the in the course okay in the workshop one of the things as well in terms of we're talking about customers obviously this is um aimed a lot at industrial processes applications industrial customers but the sheer fact that you're delivering a kit and a training package together um, does that widen the scope for potential customers? I'm thinking maybe education or people who actually want to maybe do some self-learning about um, edge computing and, and IoT? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that in future we have, if we really want to invest in Industry 4.0, we need to rise also the level of knowledge and competences about this topic. So mainly the workshop is for people that already works in an industry and on a company and they want to evolve toward the industry for the zero and they want to do their own with their in internal let's say procedure in a company and they can buy our hardware and and our workshop and have all the necessary element hardware and knowledge 
for driving their own uh, innovation process. But uh, also freelancers can be interested in this. And also education in, I don't know, a bachelor degree at the university where we have maybe more technical oriented courses on which we need to explain students how to apply computer science uh, fundamentals in industrial application. And this is the kind of workshop and course they can follow for seeing apply it, for having a, 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 a real application and example of what is possible to do thanks to edge computing and cloud-like uh, computation of data, of data acquired from industrial machines. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on, on, on that 100%. We, we're seeing a lot of um, evidence of people coming from the IT world into the industrial world using things like Python to code and then using that knowledge within industrial applications. So it sounds like, you know, with the, the workshop and, and the kit that you'll be well on your way to then taking your knowledge into an industrial environment as well so that that's really uh that's really important to understand that aspect of it as well it's purely not just for industrial customers but as you mentioned maybe freelancers and people who are in it they can then start to adapt skills and move into the industrial world yeah exactly this is the main reason why we built Zerint. because i mean let me remember to everyone that Zerint allow programming in python edge devices based on microcontrollers so it's Zerin aims at lowering the entry gap into the, the embedded technology. So if you are a data scientist and your main business is analyzing data, you do not need anymore to ask an electronic engineer for building your data acquisition unit. Now you can take the 4.0 box and acquire the data, writing a firmware in the same language and with the same level of complexity, so high level coding, that you typically use in your Python notebook on your computer. That's the, the big revolution we aim at introducing into the Industry 4.0 world. Yeah, so th this package, with the kit and workshop is all about as as well is is getting the benefits uh, within existing uh, industrial processes so would you uh, would you agree that you know the the kind of opportunity there is for for retrofit within existing applications Absolutely. There are various studies that demonstrate that Industry 4.0 will change the industrial world in a few years. But the main bottleneck in the application of Industry 4.0 is uh, the evaluation of the return of investment. It means that entrepreneur cannot, let's say, go toward big investment because this is too much push, too much, let's say, oriented to innovation. So you need to be, as an interpreter, interpreter, you need to be aware of why and how you are spending the money. So changing the machines in order to buy new one that are able to talk with the cloud is, by the practically speaking, not feasible. It will require too much investment. So retrofitting is the solution for bringing our company and in particular European company that are typically little or medium sized uh, company uh, toward the 4.0 without requiring big investments. With the 4.0 box and with the kit we created in collaboration with RS and Design Spark, it's possible to convert a, let's say, mute, not 4.0 ready machine in a smart machine ready for the cloud. Let me say that the 4.0 box is a sort of uh, industrial machine digitizer. So you plug it to the machine and that, ma that machine becomes able to create the digital twin that is the main pillar of the 4.0 revolution. Great. Okay, that, that's really important to understand that as well because I, I, uh, I see that the you know, within particular RS customer base, retrofitting is a real opportunity to get those gains quite quickly. And as you mentioned, at a low cost as well. Uh, Daniela, I'd like to really thank you for your, your time today. 
we will put some links to the various um, training courses. Uh, people will purchase the product at RS and then they can access the training courses. Um, so that's really good that you know that you, you can get that kit and then you can access real solid material to take you forward at the end of which you will have a much clearer understanding of industry 4.0, how to actually then use your information and the knowledge that you've gained to provide greater benefits. So. I really thank your time today, uh, Daniela, and it's really interesting to hear what you guys, RS and Design Spark, are all working towards. So, thanks for your time, and I hope we talk again real soon. Thanks, Greg. Uh, it has been a pleasure.